Hey guys, Tommy 80 here. I'm gonna show you the best unsold buyer follow-up call in the world. Now, if you're anything like me, you talk to a lot of customers that don't buy when they first meet you, right? That's okay though. It's normal, it happens to the best of us, actually to all of us. Now, if you're also like myself in another way, you always get their name, their number, and their email address. Now, I always collect this info because unfortunately, I've never been good enough to close every single customer on our first visit, but Fortunately, most of those unsold people, well, they're still wanting to buy. And I'm really good at closing a lot of those people that didn't buy later on, like in a few hours, maybe 24 hours, a couple of days, a week. They just had to think about it and do a little bit more research before they bought anything. So now, actually, in a few seconds, I'm gonna teach you the first thing that you say uh, if you come into my business and you leave without buying something. Now, before I do that, Listen to this, there's a number of steps that you take when you're trying to get an unsold prospect to buy from you. And this is the first step. First, think of this. Two out of three people that left your store without buying, they're still gonna buy. That's a real statistic. And that's, that's uh, why you're gonna hear me in a minute asking some very simple questions to get unsold buyers back in the dealership. Because when an unsold prospect comes back to see you again, you're, you're two or three times as likely to make the sale. Now, here's another reason why you need to call these customers back. Nine out of 10 customers are never contacted again by a salesperson. That gives you some incredibly good odds of selling somebody that leaves without buying. If you just pick up the phone and call them up, but there's a but, you've got to say the right things. That also means you can't say the wrong things. And I hear a lot of the wrong things being said. The wrong way is, Hey, how you doing, Mr. Customer? I just, I was just calling uh, to check on you. I just wanted to see if you bought anything yet. You know, just touch base, uh, see where you're at. Is there anything that I can do to earn your business? Uh, okay, yeah, you're still thinking it over. Yeah, yeah, right. Still got to talk to your spouse. Uh, you'll let me know when you're ready. Uh, okay, that sounds good. You, you just give me a call when you're ready. Don't dance around the subject. It just makes the whole salesperson thing seem awkward and like you really don't know what to say which you didn't, but now you're gonna know what to say. And here's what I like to do. Hey, Mr. Customer, it's Tommy over at the Honda store. You got a couple of minutes? Great. I just wanted to say thanks for coming in and letting me show you and your spouse around. I really appreciate people like you and your spouse coming in. By the way, did you two think of any other questions that you might want answered? No? Okay. Uh, one other thing, did you end up getting a, a vehicle yet? No, you haven't. Are you still trying to find the perfect deal? And it's got to be the right model at the right price, of course, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now, let me ask you this. If I had the perfect model at the perfect price that you like, when could you be here to wrap this up? Now or later on today? Tonight. Sounds good. Uh, were you thinking like uh, earlier tonight or later on? Oh, closer to 7. Okay, could you make it 715? Perfect. You got a pen handy? Write this down. 715. I'm going to text over a reminder too, okay? Now your spouse is coming with you also, right? Is there any reason you two won't be able to make it? Great. I'll see you both at 715. Guys, that's the perfect unsold follow-up call. There's more to it, but did it seem too easy? They are pretty easy if you say the right things. Now do me a favor. If you like this, then please click like, share it with your friends, and make sure that you check out one of my free master classes. They're uh, usually on Thursdays over at Tommy80.com. We'll see you soon.